G'day all you wonderful people, welcome to Adventure Together, my name's Al and today we are having a look at my top quilt that I used for my Appalachian Trail through hike. So this is the Enlightened Equipment Enigma Apex Custom, a bit of a long name there. Enlightened Equipment are the brand, the Enigma is the type of quilt it is. Apex is the synthetic fill that's inside of the bag and custom is because you can customize it, it's not just an off the shelf. So being that it's custom, what do you get to customize? Well, firstly, it's the fill. So what kind of thermal rating fill do you get to put in it? You get a 50, 40, 30, and a 20 when you're going for the Apex Synthetic. With that, if you get a 20 degree like mine, it doesn't compress quite well and it is a little bit heavier. So when it was in its stuff sack, it was rather large compared to how it would be if it was a 50 degree. You also get to customize how wide you want it. So if you're a bigger person or a slimmer person, or if you are a long person like me, you can also customize how long or short the bag is. So it comes in a choice of a short length, which is for five foot to five foot six, a regular length of five foot six to six foot, a long, which is what I've got, a six foot to six foot six, and an extra long for those basketball players who are six foot six or taller. As for the width, you can get it in a slim, regular, or large width. I've got mine in a regular, so mine is a long, regular. So how does a quilt differ from a sleeping bag? A quilt differs so it doesn't go all the way around you. It just goes from one shoulder around you to the other. So the benefit of that is that you're saving the weight and space of a back panel where you'd be laying on the ground, or in a hammock where you would have an underquilt usually. Also, people have said that if you are in a sleeping bag and you're sleeping on that back panel, you're actually crushing the fill and squeezing the air out of it. So the thermal properties of having that back panel are almost lost because you're squeezing all kind of insulating air out of it and crushing the insulation, which means that you're just letting cold air rise straight through and there's nothing, no barrier of air to warm up to stop it. Now, if you really want to keep out drafts at the neck, you've got a cinch buckle here that you can use to cinch it up nice and tight. There's also these poppers that clip around you. And further down, you have these clips, which can either clip together or there's some elastic straps that Enlightened Equipment provide with it that will go around the base of your sleeping pad and keep you on the sleeping pad and keep this from slipping and letting drafts in through the side. This sleeping quilt in a long length and a regular width and the synthetic apex fill weighs in at 30.65 ounces, which is 869 grams. The material that Enlightened Equipment use is a ultralight nylon, which is available in 7D, 10D, and 20D, and it has a DWR finish to kind of keep the water out. You get a separate choice of what time of thickness you would like the inside liner and the outside liner, and it comes in a whole range of colors. I have a graphite, 7D on the inside and a burnt orange 10D on the outside. So the difference there is that a 7D is not quite as durable but it is much more breathable and a little bit more lightweight. I've gone for it so that all of my stinky feet and sweat can dissipate through the bag and I've gone for a slightly more durable 10D finish on the outside. Really, I wouldn't go for 7D again. I found it sometimes a little bit sticky, kind of as I was getting into it on the warmer nights, it would cling to me kind of like the way that cling film or cling wrap does. So I would probably go for 10 and 10 again if I was buying, but I found it fine, to be honest. Apart from a couple of nights where that happened, it was perfectly fine. The Enigma model comes with a sewn clothes foot box which I chose because I get very cold feet at night. So this was going to help me keep my feet warm. I never really missed having the availability to open the quilt out. I really like this. It was quite cozy to stick my lower legs into this every single night. Having a sewn clothes foot box also eliminates the need for zippers, buckles, cinches of any kind. So that reduces weight as well. As mentioned before, the fill is Climber Shield Apex which is important to me because that means that it's synthetic and it's cruelty free. But also it means that it's damp proof and you can just throw it into the washing machine and the tumble dryer 
when you need to clean it. Unlike down, which has a rather rigorous process of trying to clean it, which you have to throw special detergent in and throw tennis balls into the tumble dryer with it to loosen up the fill. Because when you get down wet, it clumps up into little balls and it's very hard to uh, get it to spread out evenly again. But in Lighten Equipment, when they're making models with and the Climber Shield Apex inside, just take one sheet of the material and then use that to make the bag. So it doesn't have anywhere to move around to. It's just one sheet instead of separate feathers. The obvious trade-off for anybody that knows about synthetic versus down is that synthetic does come in a little bit heavier and doesn't pack down quite as well as down does. But for me, it was really worth the extra size and extra weight to be happy with a synthetic fill. When you buy any quilt, you do get a stuff sack and this includes a three ounce stuff sack, very, very light. There are a lot of people that don't like using stuff sacks because they find that it keeps too much of a rigid shape and they like to stuff their sleeping bag or their sloping quilts into their pack. So it fills up all the nooks and crannies that are available inside their pack. Me, I liked having a stuff sack. I found that it crushed the size of the quilt down much smaller than I could on my own. I did try to use it without the stuff sack and sort of push it into my own backpack, but I found that it was a lot more bulky because I wasn't able to crush it down as quite as much as a stuff sack does. So for me, a stuff sack was good. And also I was able to stick my puffy in here and use it as a pillow at night. So that was really good for me too. So the pros, the pros are, just the amount of customizable options on a quilt like this from Enlightened Equipment. Also, the fact that it was super, super warm. I didn't have a cold night with it. It was really, really nice. The only time I had a cold night was when my underquilt failed me, but the top quilt, it was fantastic. The other thing that comes with a synthetic fill is the benefits of a synthetic fill, which are that it is damp proof. It does not clump up when it gets wet. It still holds its thermal properties when it's a, a little bit uh, damp and also if you want to chuck this into the wash and it's a little bit sweaty grimy a bit musty at the end of a couple of days hiking or a couple of weeks hiking you do, you can just throw it straight into the washing machine and straight into the tumble dryer and it won't go wrong on you Another benefit is the price. We mentioned the price before, but compared to down, this is about $100 or more cheaper, depending on the options that you go for. So overall, you get a, a very, very good quality, nice warm quilt for a much better price. And of course, that comes with the fact that it's also cruelty free. The cons, the cons are really when you compare it to down. On its own as a standalone quilt, there's nothing really wrong with it at all. But when you compare it to down, you've obviously got the fact that it isn't as light. It doesn't pack as small as down does as well. So that's a little bit of a compromise when you're choosing the fills if you don't mind down over synthetic. Another con is compared to down, there aren't as many customizable options in the Enlightened Equipment Enigma. So the Apex, what I've got here, has the options that I said to you before, but the Enigma model that comes in down has a few more customizable options than the synthetic one I've got here. So it has a greater amount of thermal ratings. I think it goes from 50 down to zero that you have available, whereas you don't have the zero or the 10 degree in the uh, Apex version. And also it has a few more options when it comes to sizing. But overall for me, whatever I was picking, fill regardless, I would have got the quilt in the size, length, um, weight, and everything like that. I would have got it all the same as I have here. So for me, this was a perfect quilt. And if I was looking to buy again, I would definitely get pretty much the exact same quilt. Like I mentioned before, I would probably get 10D on the inside, but other than that, it is exactly the same as I've got here. I will be using this on my PCT hike and I'll be trying to take enough care of it so that eventually I'll be able to get to use it on my CDT hike in a few years time as well. So it's getting dark now and it's about time I wrap this up. So. If this video has been useful for you and your research about hiking and camping, then please leave a like. If you've got any questions or comments, then please let me know in the comment section and I'll aim to get back to you as soon as I can. And if you really, really enjoyed this video, feel free to subscribe so that you don't miss further videos I've got coming out. If there's anything else that you wanted to have me review from my system that I took on the Appalachian Trail, then also mention that in the comments. If you feel this video will be of use to anybody else and you feel that anybody else you know will enjoy it, then feel free to share it with them. Share it with anybody who's interested in camping, hiking or adventure travel. 
Otherwise, that's it from me. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh. This is so comfortable. Might just sleep here tonight. This is really, really warm, even in the English winter time. Yep, that's it. I've made my mind up. Good night.